So, how is it going, everybody, and welcome back to Dev Game Entertainment. My name is Priest, and before I even start this video, I want to thank you guys so much for 375 subscribers. And please, if you haven't already, remember to subscribe, like this video, and comment videos that you may want to see to the channel. So, today I'll be telling you guys a non cheat. Um, way to the best non cheat way to farm masterwork items. So, this is a method of farming masterwork items. This is non cheat way, so, Bioware, you guys have no right to um, ban me um, for making this video. This is anyone can do it, it is not involved in any hacks, cheats, um, leave the game, rejoin, go on chest, um, find a hidden chest. Um, it doesn't require any of that so <clears throat> with that being said let's jump right into this video so the first thing um i would recommend doing is grandmaster one strongholds and even after this new update why i would recommend grandmaster one not just because it's easier but because i seem to be able to do better playing grandmaster one and i seem to get more um masterwork items on grandmaster one than i seem to in grandmaster two and um i don't know why that is i don't know if it's a glitch if it's supposed to be that way but it just seems um to be the case um for me and um that's why i'd recommend doing um grandmaster one strongholds strongholds are like the top dog way to get masterworks um in anthem right now so um i recommend you doing the tyrant um mine stronghold um the one i'm in right now um this actually seems to be like the best stronghold to farm uh masterworks um if you guys are looking for legendaries you may want to check out my video um of how to uh, of a good insane um you know farming location for legendaries i have done a video on just one location um on it's a stronghold um of farming masterworks anyway getting back to the point this um stronghold i think i've got in the most masterworks and i think even legendaries out of this um so this would be probably the best stronghold to farm some masterwork items and i will do a video of a um really insane masterwork farming location um later on my channel so um another thing the next thing on this list is luck builds um and it's probably the most important um is doing a luck build and um, I don't mean top out as much luck as you possibly can. I have done a video titled, Is Too Much Luck Bad? And it actually is. So, um, the amount of luck, um, once you hit level 30, you automatically get, um, with, any, with no luck items equipped, you have a base of 100 luck. Um, so I'd recommend getting only around 80 to 90 more luck after that so that's about three 30 luck uh, 30 luck items and that would be all i think and i mean i don't know why they have a pretty screwed up loot system why that would be the help you out the most rather than having like 500 plus luck um it's weird um but you know it's um it's definitely um, important though to farm masterworks you have to be one with luck and um, if you're not one with luck then you are not going to be able to be a good farmer um, so play with friends um, it's been pretty much proven that if you play with some of your friends online um, on strongholds and whatnot you can seem to get more luck that way i mean i don't is i don't know if it so, has something to do with the Science. alliance that gives you luck um i actually personally think that 
um, it's because you tend to play longer with your friends than you are when you're alone and time is one of the important things in this game to get masterworks if you spend a lot of time playing this um, so that I think that's why um, you get more masterworks when you play with friends um, so the next thing would be world events on the free play if you guys aren't one for strongholds you don't really want to do any strongholds you think they're too complicated too hard um, or you just done so many of them and you're getting sick of it um, go to free play and find world events world events um, sometimes you have to face some legendary um, enemies um, thus giving you the ability or possibility for them to drop masterworks or legendaries for you and um, you know if you do that and they do drop the masterwork for you you get lucky there and you also have a good chance of getting masterwork um, out of your loot box at the end of uh, completing the world event or the world quest so um, that's a very 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 good way of doing it um, let's just bring on the next one the boss battle in the tyrant mine which is the um, stronghold I am playing right now the ending boss battle with at least the 90 to 80 luck build will guarantee you a masterwork item that is majorly significant and you guys really have to know it it guarantees you a masterwork item pretty much my luck build right now I will do a video on it um, cause this is like the best interceptor luck build you can have, you can really survive on your own with it, um, and it guarantees you a masterwork every time you kill the, um, swarm tyrant at the end of this stronghold, so that's very cool. Um, so please, um, do not, if you somehow hit level 30, to, or to be able to get these masterworks, but you have not yet completed the main quest, Please do not play the main quest because that really does not help you at all with getting masterworks. Um, the main quest probably is the one of the worst things you guys can do. Um, is but maybe one of the best things to do t if you want to avoid getting masterworks. If you think masterworks, you don't want them. You just want to build, keep epics or something, whatever. I don't know why, but if that is your cup of tea then you know do not do um then do the main quest i mean the main quest line does not get you like hardly any mesh work so that's why um i would recommend not doing it um but it's pretty much your call um don't do quick play quick play also um quick play gives you random missions to complete don't do those if you're trying to farm masterwork items because they really suck with farming masterworks, they really don't give you any masterworks, it's just a waste of time. Um, please don't do it, it's really not worth your time, guys. And I'm promising you this, um, I don't lie to you, I never lie on this channel, I don't lie to you. Um, so please do not do free play, free play, I mean, quick play, quick play sucks, free play is awesome to get masterworks um um try legendary contracts um legendary contracts also at the end guarantee you at least a masterwork or a legendary maybe even two masterworks to a masterwork and a legendary two even maybe two legendaries on one legendary contract um but those legendary contracts would easily guarantee you a uh, masterwork item and I've never really done a um, legendary contract, like full on. Um, you know, I've heard that they're good and they work um, pretty efficiently, and they're a great way to just easily get at least guarantee one um, masterwork. But you know, it's um, it's pretty much um, depending on your builds. So free play Grandmaster 1 is the best way to farm masterwork items. I mean 
Um, Stronghold Grandmaster 1 is also a fantastic way, but I heard that free play Grandmaster 1 is the top best way to farm masterwork items. And I mean, it is true. I, t I tend to get a quite a bit of masterworks uh, free playing Grandmaster 1 with some of my friends. And um, it's cool. So do not do hard mode. Please try to stick at a hard mode. Stick to the Grandmaster difficulties. Grandmaster 1 being the least. Um, Grandmaster 2 is actually also pretty easy, but the loot seems to be not as good as Grandmaster 1. Grandmaster 3 is pretty much damn near impossible, um, to play. Um, and a little helpful tip, when you are doing, um, strongholds to try to farm Masterworks or Legendaries, please don't just run through all these enemies. Kill them all because you never know when one may drop a Masterwork for you. So don't go flying past all the enemies. Stay, take your time and kill them. I know a lot of people like to just fly away past all of these things. Um, but if you guys stay and kill them all, you will have the upper hand over your friends. Because, I mean, I know you can't though. Because it will say that like, you have to like um, head to the mission area. Because everybody's flying ahead of you. But if you have a group of four people... Or even three people um, and you guys can just sit there and just keep killing all those little spiders or whatever that you pass um, and you never know I've never really seen them drop masterworks but I've heard that they did because personally I've never really actually waited either I've always been the guy who flies past more um, but don't do it because it can get you masterworks um, so yeah guys, stay away from quick play, stay away from the main quest line, stay away from the hard mode, medium or easy mode as well. Um, I mean, thank you guys a lot for watching this video. I mean, if it was useful for you guys, please remember to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and give me entertainment. I mean, I mean, y'all know how much your supporters are going to get appreciated here on the channel. Um, and yeah, I guess until the next Anthem video, I guess this is goodbye. Bioware, don't ban me. You literally watched this entire video. Nothing was wrong with what I said. There's no cheese. I saying, oh, go to your PC and type in this, like, XB252, and you'll get unlimited master. No, I'm not. It's, it's nothing like that. I mean, I don't even know those kind of cheats, but, um... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Anthem Daily Tips and Tricks video. Now let me know in the comment section if my masterwork farming method was useful for you guys, and peace out.